Hi class, we're looking at the murder mystery paper. This is your evaluation argument essay. And what you're looking for is the most logical explanation for a murder or a mystery. A couple notes I want you to think about. Each theory or suspect must be evaluated on the same criteria. So you can't use different criteria for this murder suspect and, a, and a other criteria for somebody else. It all has to be the same. You need to set up the criteria in order of importance, meaning that you start with the least important criteria and end with the most. You need to set up the theories or the suspects in order of importance as well. So the most likely one is the last one. And a suspect can be unidentified. So if you're looking at a killer that fits this description but we don't have a name, that would be okay. Um, you could also have a theory that is undiscovered at, at this time. Usually that's in your conclusion. So what kind of criteria might you be looking at? And remember, this is might. You can use other criteria. In a murder, what you're looking for are some of the things an investigator or a lawyer would look at to rule in or out a suspect. Means, motive, opportunity. Is it logical that this person would choose to kill the victim or victims? In the mystery, you're looking at what are the elements a scientist would use to determine the usefulness of an explanation. In terms of is it logical? Is there a reliable source or several reliable sources? Is there some bias from the different people who are um, proposing theories? And then what's the evidence? What backs up these different theories? Once you have that and you have the different theories or suspects you're looking at, you get to writing the paper. The first part obviously is the introduction. Why is this murder or this mystery so intriguing? Why are people still talking about it? What are the basic facts of the murder or mystery? What are the things that everybody agrees upon that have happened there? Um, criteria to be used in this evaluation. So you want to list that so that your reader knows what you're using to evaluate each theory or suspect. And then your thesis is going to identify the most likely ones. Remember, you don't want to announce so-and-so is the killer. Um, you can do that, but you don't want to say in this paper, I will prove that so-and-so is the killer. For each suspect or theory, you've got a couple things you need to do. Obviously, you need a topic sentence that identifies the theory or the mystery to be evaluated. You need to lay out the suspect or theory and evidence provided to support it by the people who believe in that suspect or believe in that theory. And then you need to evaluate the theory using the criteria you established earlier in your introduction. Now, sometimes for each suspect or theory, you can do this all in one paragraph because there's just not that much to write about. However, sometimes there's more, there's more evidence, there's more evaluation that you need to do. If that's true, you do your topic sentence and your theory or suspect in one paragraph and do the evaluation in a second paragraph. Just make sure that paragraph is still fully developed. It's not a little three sentence paragraph. Every, after you do one, one suspect or one theory, you move on to the next one. Remember they're building an order of importance. Finally, in the conclusion, what's the most logical theory or what is the most likely suspect and why? So you've gone through all of this. Why is this one the one you have settled on? Note that it is okay to say there's not enough evidence to draw a conclusion at this time, but then you have to explain why. Why is that not possible at this point in time? Remember, it's a mystery. It's a murder that's unsolved. It means you don't have an answer out there. It's just your opinion and the best evidence you can provide. Hope that works for y'all.